man, look at all that weird smoke and shit. Sometimes the Commonwealth is pretty cool. Except for the Creamery, there's like literally fuck all around here. Hey guys, Boney McBonerton here and welcome back to Fallout 4. In this video, I promise to go do the Jackson Cabot whatever you call quest. But first, I want to continue exploring a little... If my mouse will stop being a fucking... Ah, oh, there we go. Now, before we go explore that, there's still, like, a few key locations I want to explore. Like, uh, for example, this. What's going on with this? Have we... I think we might have been here before. But I don't see any other discoverable loc... There are a lot of angry... There's a ro there's a whole ass fucking robot up there. Guess we gotta go up there to see what's up there. Which is weird, because that's not a marked location or anything. I mean it should totally be, but just ain't. Which which is weird, right? Question is, how are we gonna get up there? First of all, I'm going to wait here to... Re okay, I'm not going to wait. I'm going to keep moving, and I'm going to sit here and recover my action points like a good little boy. All right, now that that's done, after we just stared suspiciously at Kate, I'm going to try to jump up here. And it has not worked so far. Unless there's another way up. Shut up, phone. I, I don't care. Oh, oh, hold on. That looks like a lift. Okay, I was really overcomplicating this. How the fuck did I miss this? First of all. What are you sh- Better not- You fuck- Are you shooting at my settlement, you fucking rat? Oh, fuck. Thank God for this one metal bar. Hmm, turn. Wait, where's the Assaultron? No, seriously, where's the fucking Assaultron? I'm like, no, I'm like now massively paranoid. Because I don't know where this thing went. Ooh. No, I'm not coming over there. You're high. Defend Warwick Homestead. Really? Ooga booga. Give me, let me. Mm, give me that rump. Yes. Yeah, I guess there was a colonel just operating shit from up here. Okay, Warwick Homestead's in trouble, right? So, where is Warwick Homestead? Oh, this is Warwick Homestead. Why, why are you guys in trouble? Can you motherfuckers not go, like, eight minutes without picking fights with the random dudes? Like, on fucking god. What weapon to give this thing? Uh,
Yeah, you guys totally needed help with that. You showed up just in the nick of time. Nice lipstick. I didn't want you to have all the fun. If that's what you call fun. Yeah, anyway. yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. We've been through this before. Just now what? The hired hand doing a job. Not much else to say. Let's trade. Sure. Just because you bothered me. <laughs> Just because you bothered me, I'm taking all your fucking money. Yeah. Considering it being a fucking annoying nuisance tax. Hold on. There we go. This unit is currently in factory default mode. Do you wish to enable this unit's personality subroutine? Sure. Sure. That would be great. Acknowledged. Personality subroutine activated. A pleasure to see you again, sir. Are you ready to depart? Ah, uh, my mistake. Actually, I'll be back later. Very well, sir. Alright, so here's a weird glitch I kind of encountered with Robo Brains, and I want to see if I can potentially recreate it here. So you get a guard post, this small one, set it up right here, Now we get our fucking Robo Brain, and who is running off literally fucking in nowhere, you fucking clown ass dick. Resources assigned. You know what? While we're at it, let's get another store out here. Congrats. You own a store now. I said, okay. you own, there you go. Okay, okay, never mind. You're back on working for food. Jesus fucking Christ. I signed this guy to a store and all the food production just suddenly shut. No, no fucking wonder. Okay. No fucking wonder. Not a single one of you are, is working on fucking food. It's so shocking to me that I actually had a fucking voice crack. Okay, I can't even select these two. Sure. I'm almost like low-key concerned. Okay, Zap even somehow got him assigned. Got so I tried to assign one dude to one job and everyone else was like, fuck it, we're on strike. Okay, now as for the... Hold on. You're unassigned, you work for the food. You're unassigned, you work for the food. I, I, okay, fine, I can't assign you to anything because you're a lazy fool. Okay, but robot, you. Here's the weird bug I wanted to show. Just get back, get back to work, dude. I trust you're enjoying my company. You and I make quite an effective team. Okay, watch this and just shrinks down. So for some reason, a lot of the robots you can build with the Tomatron will, if you assign them to a guard post, they will shrink down to accommodate the size of the guard post. I have no clue why they do this. Now. For something I've been accidentally holding off on, 
We have to go to the Cabot House. Like, no fucking cap. That, of course, it, like, the load screen finishes as soon as I step away to get food. You know what I'm eating? I'm eating a baby carrot. Oh, listen to that fucking crunch, just... Alright, that's enough carrot ASMR. Go away. I'm here to talk to Jack Cabot. Oh, it's you. Good. Come on in. Yes, it's me, the guy that you talked to like four months ago who said he was gonna do this job for you and never came back. Let's go meet the boss. Alright. Lead on. God, just look how nice and clean this place is. This might be the cleanest place in the Commonwealth. Jack, the new guy is here. One moment, one moment. We just have to. He'll be right with us. Oh, damn. Clearly, our meeting was just a mixture. Clearly. Hello, hello. Welcome to Cabot House. I'm Jack Cabot. If I can... If I can please, if I can please, just after this man. If I can please! What is this place? This is my ancestral home. The Cabots have always lived here, since long before the Great War. If you're asking what we're still doing here, with Boston in its current sad state, well, that's a story for another time, perhaps. Hmm. Pleased to meet you, Jack. And I am very pleased to meet you. Edward finds it tiresome. But I always like to know personally everyone who works for me. Please, have a seat. How about a drink? Edward, the good bourbon, eh? Mm, yes, the good bourbon, Please, Edward. Have a seat. There might be some valuable stuff inside. Let's go check it out. Out of my, pff, out of my way, now, Edward. Before we get down to business, I have a question I like to ask all my new employees. Is this really the time Don't for... interrupt, Edward. The question is this. Do you believe there is other intelligent life in the universe? You're fucking kidding me, right? Like, uh... You know that I've literally killed an alien. I'm even holding its weapon in my inventory right now. I'm not sure there's any intelligent life in the universe. At least not on this planet. Hey, you joke, but make a good point. Say humans perish from the Earth, as they seem intent upon doing. Say thousands of years from now. A new civilization arose. What would they know of us? Hmm. You're implying there was a lost alien civilization on Earth in prehistoric times? Yes, if by alien you mean a non-human precursor to the commonly understood founding cultures. Sumer, Egypt, Assyria. Jack, can I tell him what I need him to do? I'm sorry, Edward. I just get carried away sometimes. You're sending him to look for the missing shipment. Yeah. Well then, I'd better leave you to it. We'll talk more about this some other time, when things are less rushed. It isn't important now. Welcome to the family. Okay. You're officially hired. Congratulations. What was all that about? Don't worry about it for now. That's part of the job, by the way. It's best to keep an open mind. Jack may be eccentric, but he's definitely not crazy. The job I got for you is simple. Jack owns a facility north of the city. There's an important package that went missing between there and here. I need you to track it down and bring it back to me. Any questions? Hmm. For starters, what's this package I'm looking for? It's a metal case holding vials of serum. You don't need to worry about what it is. Jack needs it for his research. That's all you need to know. You should start at Parson State Insane Asylum. Don't let the name spook you. It's just a secure building that we're using. We think the courier got ambushed as he was leaving the place. The guards heard gunfire in the distance, but we don't know exactly what happened. Check in with Maria at Parsons. She's in charge of the security force there. She can point you in the right direction. You all set then? All set? Yep. I'll see you soon with the package. Good luck. 
Don't get killed on your first job. Trust me, this is not my first job. Question is, can I fast travel out of here? If my mouse will stop being fucking you. There we go. That helped, apparently. Lynn Woods. Okay, we cannot. Oh, come on, guys. All right, now that I'm done eating the carrot, let's go see what these people at his facility want. Parsons State Insane Asylum. Hey, my grand- Oh, I used to visit my grandmother here. Hey, what's up, guys? This place is off limits. You'd best move along. Hey, relax, relax. Edward Deegan sent me. I'm looking for a missing package. Oh, you're the new guy. So this package, pretty sure we know where it is. The guys that shot Ben are holed up in the Parsons Creamery, just north of here. Oh, cool. So you've just been waiting for me to show up to do something about those assholes. As far as I remember, I don't answer to you. And yeah, we were waiting for you. That's your job, to deal with unexpected problems that come up. My job is to make sure nobody gets into this place. That's true. Edward wouldn't have hired me if he thought you could have done the job. Ooh. He's throwing a lot of attitude for the new guy. Guess we'll see soon enough if you're just... If you're doing smoking it, I'll blow your smoke. Booga booga in charge. I know. Another interesting fact, if you normally come here, I don't know if the dialogue between you and Mary would ensue, but they definitely might attack you. God, that's beautiful architecture. You know what's funny is we were just... Oh, courier. Wow, we found the deck. Huh. I guess this guy didn't survive the headshot. Hello? I'm here for the package you stole, you fucking... Sorry, I just got, like, really distracted. Oh my god, there's a safe here? How did I not know th notice that safe? Let's see this guy. Mysterious Serum. Turn the serum to the cabot house. Okay, but first, time to lockpick. Plasma grenades, a pulse mine, and a silver fork. Now, time to go back to the Cabot House. The House of Cabots. Imogene is missing, and I want her found. She's not missing, Mother. Do you know where she is? No, but that does Your sister mean... is missing, and I want her found. What else is Edward for if not to keep the family safe? I'd be happy to send someone to look for her, ma'am. It's not Mother, a... Edward has better things to do than sending someone out to find Imogene. Again. I can't believe you don't care what happens to your sister. I'm not going to have Edward drop everything just because Imogene decided to take a lover again. Kate, you're kind of... So did you find out what happened to the courier? Let's go check it out. Um... Some raiders set up camp near Parsons and ambushed him. I took care of him. 
Hmm. I don't like raiders operating so close to Parsons. I hope this isn't the start of something serious. What about the serum he was carrying? Did you get any of it back? The serum was all gone. Yeah, figures. Oh well, here's your pay for the job. Too bad about the serum. Now, as far as what's next. Oh hell, I guess it's time you met Wilhelmina. Jack's not gonna be happy about it. Come on. If your father were here, he'd send someone to find Emma Jean. Be 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 be. If she chooses to go off without telling anyone, that's her business. Jack, I'll take care of it. Mrs. Cabot, don't worry. I'll send someone to find Emma Jean. Thank you, Edward. I can always count on you. Why can't you be as devoted as dear Edward? You shouldn't indulge her, Edward. It just makes her more impossible to deal with next time. Just doing my job. Speaking of which, we tracked down the last delivery from Parsons. Raiders got it all, I'm sorry to say. Oh, that is bad news. Our supply here is dangerously low. Well, we'll just have to make it last until the next delivery. Emma Jean is Jack's sister. You probably figured that out yourself. She's, uh, a little flighty. Impulsive. From time to time, she runs off, usually with a new boyfriend. Then I send somebody to bring her home. Hmm. Great. The sister's even crazier than Jack. She's not crazy. She just wants the world to be a different place than it really is. I don't know where she's gone, but I can give you a place to start. She's been spending a lot of time in Good Neighbor. That's a jazz club there, the third rail. Somebody there must know something. She's not known for keeping her mouth shut. Hmm. What if she doesn't want to come home? Obviously, as one of the family, you can't just knock her in the head and drag her home by her heels. Usually, by the time I send someone after her, she's gotten bored with the whole thing and is ready to come home. I'm sure you'll think of something. You're supposed to be resourceful, remember? Oh yeah, of course. Wow, this place is a shite hole. And here I thought it couldn't get any worse than the combat zone. Well, you'd be surprised. Besides, I think for now we actually have to go in here, the third rail. I don't get it. Is there supposed to be like a pun or something to this? I'm, I'm sorry, man. It just ain't clicking with me. Holy shit. That was a really fast load zone. Normally when I get in this game, it takes like fucking 20 years, but... Hancock says newcomers are welcome in the third rail. Go on in. Hey there. Enjoy your stay. Oh, uh, thank you, Ham. Seriously, who the fuck names their kid Ham? <laughs> Someone's gonna... Yeah? Drifter... Drifter, yes. drifter, yep. Yep. ugly drifter. Yes. Hmm. First things first, always check with the bartender. We got beer. You ain't buying beer, you ain't buying. Yo, do you know Emma Jean Cabot? Name rings a bell. Kind of balmy. Haven't seen her in a while, though. Try Magnolia. She likes to make friends with people. She might know more about this missing bird. Magnolia! Guy wants a word. Oh no no! Don't don't interrupt her performance. Have her come down here. Oh my fucking god, dude! Excuse me, miss. Hmm? Now what's the matter, handsome? Don't tell me you didn't like the song. Finn had it coming. You get on the mayor's bad. Side. I love the song. It was perfect. I think the song wasn't the only thing you were enjoying. Oh well, thank you. A girl tries her best. 
Now there's something special about you, isn't there? Don't tell me. Let me guess. Ah, that's it. You had that, um, I'm the smartest one here and I know it posture. There's something so irresistible about intelligence, don't you think? So what brings a man like you to my part of town? Oh, I woke up here. Just me, my underwear, and regret. <laughs> now that sounds like the beginning of a great song. I think you and I are gonna get along. So it's my turn to answer questions, right? What can I do for you? I was wondering if we could get to know each other better. Oh, really? Go on. You, me, an evening walk under the streetlights. And then what? Gonna cuck the shit out of Kate. Watch this. Music. Hmm. I knew you were something special, all right. Let me get my coat. Yeah. Let's get out of here. Let me get my coat. What'll it be? <laughs> Bruh, I feel so bad. We just cucked the shit out, the town out of Kate. Long. Thank you. I'm afraid my first love is always going to be the stage, though. I hope you understand. I just can't get too attached. And I'll see you around, good neighbor. When I'm up there singing, mm, I'll be thinking of you. Yep. Oh, wait. Hold hey, on. Magnolia. I'll see you around, good neighbor. Wait, I still have questions. I have to head back. You. F you know what? This is karma for cucking you, isn't it? I'll, 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 I'll accept that. I'll accept that. Now I gotta head back to the third rail and go through another load screen just to talk. A little tired there, Bob. You're right, Stan. I am tired. Tired of this hotel. Tired of always being on the bottom of the heap. I'm even tired of your loyal fucking face standing here every day reminding me I used to have good men at my side. Didn't mean to upset you, Stan. If there's one person in this whole backstabbing neighborhood that's earned the right to upset me from time to time, it's you. Don't worry about it. What the fuck was that about, Look, huh? I know it's an open door, but it's like a philosophically open door, okay? Get the hell out. All right, fine. What about what about you, Stan? Bye. Boss Morosky don't like to be disturbed. Be quick. All right, well, I'm taking the fucking Nuka-Cola with me. Because you were being a rude little dickhead. You see nothing. Nice find. Oh, don't worry. I wasn't looking. Hey, what, what's this? Okay, the hotel registry password just Whoa. right there. It's you. Didn't I just see you? I got whiplash. Oh, man. You should definitely try this stuff. I came in here like eight months ago. I don't need anything. I'm always here if you need me. Bruh. Bruh got whiplash even though I came in here like half a year ago. What the fuck? Once again, it appears that my need to get my... It's on CIT. I hope the stories are true. And the Institute got what was coming to them. Oh, they did. You saw that big explosion over at CIT? They say that's where the Institute got started. Yeah. Peace, brother. Man, once again, my need to get my dick wet has inconvenienced me greatly. Entertainments down the stairs. Yeah, yeah, I know. I've already had my entertainment. Oh, <laughs> Another one of you mercs looking for McCready? He's in the back room. McCready? Uh, m maybe later. Magnolia. Something I can do for you, handsome? Yeah. Do you know Emma Jean Cabot? Emma Jean? Sure. I know her. I haven't seen her in a while, though. Were you a friend of hers? Um... She's missing, and her family's worried about her. <laughs> well, I'm glad somebody's looking out for her. She seems like a body that could use looking after. 
I just need to know where she is. There was this preacher fella who used to come in here all the time. One of the slick ones. Always going on about remaking your life and so on. Most of the customers wouldn't give him the time of day, but him and Jean, she latched on to him for some reason. I don't suppose it hurt that he was easy on the eyes. Mmm, intense. Some women find that irresistible. Pam, would you come over here a minute? Yes, Ham. It's just he fucking names himself Ham. Is there a problem, Miss Magnolia? No, this fine gentleman here was just looking for Imogene. Do you happen to know where that preacher fella came from? Hmm, Brother Thomas? Yes, that's right. The one Imogene was always hanging on. Had to throw him out. Wouldn't stop bothering customers with that salvation racket. Kept going on and on about joining him at the back bay. Then he'd shove those stupid flyers in your face. Here, I kept one of them, just in case he didn't pay his bar tab. Mm. Well, thanks, honey. You were a big help. Anything for you, miss. I hope him and Jean's all right. A little I jealous there, like Kate. The idea of her going off with that preacher fella. Right, let's check out this flyer first. Let's see. Inventory. Treasury K. Ellen Mino. Pillars of the Community Flyer. Do you feel your life isn't what you wanted? Are you looking for a change? For some reason while reading that, I thought that said cringe. Come here, brother Thomas explain the truth behind our troubled world at the Charles View Amphitheater in the Back Bay. Revival meetings every night. All those seeking to change their lives for the better are welcome. And I just know exactly oh, where that, that is. That's freedom. You stepped through the gate. You got balls. D we toss out the troublemakers. Keep that in mind. I just fucking immediately rip ass in her face. Mmm, <laughs> you smell that? <laughs> Druggy one. Drugs. You know it's weird? I barely use Jet anymore, but I still had to steal that. So, while well, we're probably going to be locked in this load screen for quite some time, I want to say, unfortunately, that's all the time we have for this video. So, in the next video for Fallout 4, we shall go out of our way to... What was it again? Oh yeah, to get Emma Jean Cabot from that one weirdo. Then maybe make a Cabot stew. I'm sorry, it's so weird, because every time I hear their names, I'm either thinking of cabbage or rabbit. It's, it's kind of weird. Huh? Don't have no handouts. I'll hand you out, you fucking git. Have a good day now, and goodbye.